Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video we are going to see what is binary semaphore and how to use it. Here we are using ESP32 and Arduino IDE for this. Let us see what is binary semaphore in FreeRTOS. In FreeRTOS, a binary semaphore is a synchronization mechanism used to protect shared resources from concurrent access by multiple tasks. It is a simple signaling mechanism that allows only two states, available and unavailable. When a task acquires a binary semaphore, it sets its state to unavailable. And when it releases it, the state becomes available. A task can only acquire the binary semaphore if it is in the available state. If the binary semaphore is already in the unavailable state, the task will block until the semaphore becomes available. Binary semaphores can be used for a variety of synchronization tasks, such as coordinating access to shared resources or signaling between tasks. They are often used in conjunction with other free RTOS synchronization mechanisms, such as queues, to implement more complex synchronization patterns. When to use binary semaphore? Binary semaphores are typically used when you need a simple synchronization mechanism that can signal between tasks. Here are some common scenarios where binary semaphores can be useful. 1. Protecting shared resources. If multiple tasks need to access a shared resource, a binary semaphore can be used to ensure that only one task has access to the resource at any given time. 2. Signaling between tasks. If one task needs to signal another task to start or stop an activity, a binary semaphore can be used to send a signal. The task that is waiting for the signal can block until the binary semaphore becomes available. 3. Task Synchronization If multiple tasks need to execute a set of instructions in a specific order, binary semaphores can be used to enforce the order of execution. 4. Rate Limiting Binary semaphores can be used to limit the rate at which tasks can access a shared resource. For example, a binary semaphore can be used to limit the rate at which tasks can access a network resource or a shared I.O. device. How binary semaphore is different from mutex in FreeRTOS In FreeRTOS, a binary semaphore and a mutex are both synchronization mechanisms used to protect shared resources from concurrent access by multiple tasks. The main difference between them is that a mutex is a mutual exclusion object that can provides priority inheritance. Moreover, the tasks which owns the mutex becomes the owner of the resource. And no other tasks can access the resource until the mutex is released by the owner task. The mutex resembles the locking mechanism. On the other hand, a binary semaphore is a simpler synchronization mechanism that only has two states, available and unavailable. When a task acquires a binary semaphore, it sets its state to unavailable, and when it releases it, the state becomes available. A task can only acquire the binary semaphore if it is in the available state. If the binary semaphore is already in the unavailable state, the task will block until the semaphore becomes available. Let us try to implement the binary semaphore in code. Let us go to Arduino IDE. Binary semaphore is defined as semaphore handle. In the setup section the binary semaphore is created. And handle is assigned to binary semaphore. Here the task 1 is created with a priority of 1 and which calls task master function. Next task 2 is created with a priority of 1 and which calls task servant function. The servant waits for a signal from master to finish the task. This is the functionality we are implementing using. Binary semaphore. This is task master function for task 1. Which gives the signal to servant task to finish the work. Here API used is x semaphore give and the binary semaphore handle is passed as an argument. Here the message is printed master give signal. V task delay of 2000 milliseconds is added. So this task waits for 2 seconds to get executed again. In the task servant function. The task waits for release of binary semaphore. Till then it stays in the blocking state. The API used here is. X semaphore take and where first argument is. 
task handle and second handle max delay macro. That is port max underscore delay. When master task releases the binary semaphore, then the servant task finishes the work. The task prints first message as servant task takes the semaphore. Next message printed is servant finishes executing the task. Now we are ready to flash the code in the ESP32. Select board and port and click on upload. After code is uploaded start the serial monitor. You can see. First the master task releases the binary semaphore and goes into the block state. After the availability of binary semaphore the servant task or task 2 finishes the work or task. It enters into the block state waiting for the availability of binary semaphore which is controlled by master task. This sequence is continued again and again. That's it for the day. In this video we have seen what is binary semaphore and how to implement it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found this video interesting. If you like the video then please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.